about you guys, but I can't wait to get my hands on the new Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack and the big base game infant update coming for The Sims 4. We are about to be fed with new content. All I want to do is build family homes at this point. So what we're going to do today is build a family home, but each room is going to be a different skill. And this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. They're my favorite meal delivery service. And with HelloFresh, you can skip the grocery stores because they deliver delicious and fresh recipes with wholesome ingredients right to your door. I can just cook up an easy and fast restaurant quality meal right in my own kitchen while saving money because HelloFresh is 70% cheaper than dining in a restaurant. March is National Nutrition Month and HelloFresh makes it easy to choose delicious and nutritious meals. You can even look for the dietitian win tag on their menu choices to find recipes under 700 calories with one third less sodium. To show you what I mean, here I am in my kitchen unboxing one of my new HelloFresh recipes. I had a really busy day that day, so it was honestly really nice to not worry about prepping or meal planning. I made a delicious southern pork chops recipe, which was so easy and so quick that by the time I was finished, I still had so much of my night left to play video games and hang out with the pups. And who doesn't love more time for doggy snuggles? So check out HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use code SINMAC60 for 60% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and use my code SINMAC60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. We're gonna start off here by building our shell really quickly. I want it to be big so I can fit a bunch of rooms and many sims can live here. For now, I know it's probably gonna be two stories. We can do multiple different bedrooms and bathrooms in here. Keeping in mind that this is gonna be kind of closed concept so we can get as many different skills in here as possible. Then anytime we build a room in the house, we're gonna come to this wheel with all of the skills on it. And seeing them here like this really like kind of blew my mind a little bit. There are a lot on here. This includes everything from Sims 4 base game to all of the packs. And I also included some of the toddler and child skills like potty and imagination. We're also gonna be spinning this for a theme for the outside. So let's go ahead and spin for that. And we get knitting for the exterior. Okay. <laughs> Sims can level up the knitting skill by using the knitting basket from the Sims 4 nifty knitting where they can create clothing, furniture, and decorations. I feel like I should be going for things like this with like pink pastel colors. Nifty knitting itself is a very pastel like colorful pack, which I personally really like to build with, but not for exteriors. Oh, we also have a nifty knitting door, so I have to use that somewhere. We could potentially put these out on the balcony. I've got one balcony on the side here, and I also have another one like in the back. I know Strangerville also has some fun windows we could use like fitting this theme, like those ones with the pink shutters. I'm already thinking this house would suit like a really big thick trim like this on the bottom floor. We could go for a nice fancy entryway here with that Discovery University fence. Maybe this foundation paint here from base game and potentially some of these windows here. I don't even have wallpaper yet. I'm kind of just like trying to get a plan going. What if we did like a black roof there with some gray brick? Maybe just bringing the brick onto some of the pieces here. Like just kind of adding that on to wherever I think looks good. Okay with all of my windows and doors and everything this is what the exterior is looking like so far. And I don't know I think it looks kind of cute. We definitely need to keep working though. We need to add some more like details. And I was thinking with this like awkward area here. I kind of want to put some plants there. So I might like make some of these a little, okay, that's too big. Might make some of these a little bigger. We can mix it up with like some pink in there. Maybe this can end up being a very spring inspired house. I especially want to make sure we get the knitting stuff out here. So I'm going to add that rug there from Nifty Knitting. And obviously we're going to need the rocking chairs out here, which could make sense for a family home anyway. We're going to do a pink one over there. We're going to need the knitting basket. So I'm going to use one of those poofs as like a table and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna raise it up and put that on top. We can maybe do another rocking chair over here in this corner. My door has like blue on it so I can bring some blue in there as well. I'm gonna be hanging some plants here from this like roof part and maybe I could even use like this couch out here too. This is not furniture that I would normally put outside but as a conversation area I actually think it looks kind of cute. I can't forget that we also have this upstairs balcony here and I think this is where I'm gonna put some of the bigger knitting items. Like we have this here. I could maybe move my window over and put that right there. Actually, I like that. It kind of looks cute coming out beside the door. This is slowly becoming like a Polly Pocket slash like Barbie dream house with all this like 
pink. We don't really know anything about the family on the inside yet, but maybe we're like making these for the kids. Maybe this is our job. And to be honest, I wasn't quite sure about where this exterior was gonna go, but I actually think I like it now. I'm gonna add a little bit of landscaping and then we'll see what we've got from there. Okay, so here is what the exterior is looking like. This is our knitting inspired house. Very much a pastel color scheme happening here. Of course, we have the knitting stuff along the way too, like the hanging plants, the rocking chairs at the front. One of my personal favorite areas, the balcony. In the back here, I wanted to make sure we have enough stuff for kids along with more knitting stuff. So again, more like knitting stuff in that corner, a picnic area, another cute area right there with a toy box, a barbecue, a bike. And I love this area over here with the teddy bear. And I had to put a mailbox outside from Nifty Knitting. They're so colorful and pretty. I do have a floor plan ready to go here. So I'm gonna show you that. And then we're gonna go back to the wheel. We're gonna have our front door here, which leads into a living room. We have a bathroom in the back and a bathroom down here to the left and over to the right this is gonna be where our kitchen and dining space are we'll have a pantry in the back here and down here this might be a bedroom or a dining room I haven't really decided yet then upstairs we're gonna have a big hallway right in the middle here four bedrooms so we're gonna have one two three and four here and there's also gonna be two bathrooms upstairs as well so lots of rooms happening lots of space for different skills let's go back to the wheel and spin for the living room okay so I've removed knitting Let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get for the living room. We get rock climbing. The rock climbing wall was introduced in The Sims 4 fitness stuff and then later expanded on with The Sims 4 snowy escape. Sims can increase their rock climbing skill by using the rock climbing wall or practicing in designated mountain areas. So this is our rock climbing wall and it's massive. <laughs> Even if I just placed it down here, it's so big that I'm gonna be able to see it like through the next floor. So we're gonna have to get creative here. I think we're gonna have to like open up this bedroom here. I'm gonna delete the door, replacing these walls with half walls and I'm gonna delete this here hoping that oh it didn't cause any issues i think we're also gonna have to delete that window down there but if i can move this back a little bit it's almost gonna be like a loft sort of thing where you can see from the upper floor down below how are we gonna make this thing in the middle of my living room look good i'm going to try and hide it i'm bringing the walls out a little bit so they're gonna match up with like up above so you can't see them from up there then i want to close this off here with some curtains which your sims are still gonna be able to walk through but now it's not so obvious that we have have a freaking rock climbing machine right in the middle of the house. Then we can add like a rug in here, maybe some more curtains in the background and like a mirror wall. And over on this side, I'm just gonna put some towels here. So there's our rock climbing area. And then for the rest of the room, I'm gonna add everything I actually need. Like we'll add our couch in here, the seating area and all that stuff. And aside from just the fitness stuff, rock climbing wall, we've also got this here from Snowy Escape, which has like the rock climbing gear on it. What else do we have? We also have some rock climbing books. Maybe I can just stick these like on the table here. Aside from all the obvious like rock climbing stuff in here, we could also start to get some pictures of like mountains. Like we could do a big picture of a mountain over on this side. Over here, we could possibly do a desk with a computer. We can put a chair over here. Ooh, there's some climbing awards we could put. We can put some bookshelves on the other wall here. And we can't forget about our kids in this living room area. So over here, I'm gonna put some toys for them. Oh, we could fit a dollhouse back there without sizing it down. I always thought this was a hospital, but this is like a modern dollhouse. It literally looks like a hospital. Okay, so for our rock climbing living room, this is what we got. This is literally probably the worst <laughs> skill that I could have picked for the living room. But okay, we've got the living room area, which is pretty basic. A couple of rock climbing books there. The rock climbing gear over there ready to go if they're so inclined. Get it? The main focus of this was obviously like the rock climbing area, which even though we've tried to hide it a little bit with those curtains there, it still is open. So it's still part of the room. All things considered, I think that turned out pretty good. Then over here beside the rock climbing area, we've got the dollhouse. We've got some toys, some kids stuff. Same with like the bookshelf over here. And we have our desk with like all our rock climbing awards, our computer, and just another toy box there. Okay, I think I want to do a bathroom. I want to get that out of the way. And actually, I'm pretty grateful that we didn't get rock climbing for a bathroom because I don't even know what we would do then. Okay, let's go ahead and spin for the first bathroom. We get robotic. I'm realizing none of these are ideal. The robotic skill comes with The Sims 4 Discovery University. Sims can increase the robotic skill by tinkering and making craftables at the robotics table. This is the robotics station. It's huge. It literally takes up six tiles. I... Mm. Okay, here's the bathroom. It's literally gonna take up half of it. Why? would this be in here? <laughs> Me trying to come up with some sort of explanation. Okay, I'm gonna build a wall there. Maybe a 
Maybe it's a secret. Maybe we are just so dedicated to robotics here that we don't even want to leave it for a second. We have to do everything in the bathroom. Are there any better swatches on here? No? Okay. We're going to get everything we need and then we're going to get out of here. Wait, you know what we should do actually is like the talking toilet. So at least it goes with the robotics theme. Maybe we should make the whole thing like futuristic. It'll make no sense, but hopefully it'll look cool. Okay, so all our bathroom stuff in there looking kind of decent. I'm going to put a mirror on both of these walls for like a little decor next to my robot station. We've got some robot books. There's like these little guys. These are actually kind of cute. These are like school robotics projects though. So like not the really the same thing, but they look the part for sure. I was genuinely trying to make a normal build today. I should have known <laughs> this was going to take a turn. We'll even add some fairy lights in here. So it's like robotics, but cute. Okay, here is our robotics bathroom. I actually don't hate it as much as I thought I would. We have our talking toilet over here. It's a robot. The final thing I might add here is just like a curtain to that side. I don't want to actually cover the windows, but just so something is there. Okay, let's move on from this left side. I have one more bathroom there. I'm going to wait to do it, but I want to get the kitchen out of the way. So back to the wheel. Let's go ahead and spin. Please just be like cooking. Herbalism. We could do that. That makes sense. So the herbalism skill in The Sims 4 comes with outdoor retreat. Basically, it's built by identifying herbs after collecting them and brewing remedies on a grill or stove. This is the luckiest we've been all day. Okay, we can make this cute. It's gonna be planty, maybe floral a little bit, and I feel like I'm risking it too much with this color scheme. The green can stay. The flooring, I think I'm gonna change it all over to that one there. Okay, so this is pretty big. I have a lot of room in here, which is good for what I need. I'm gonna start to build it this way. I'm building in a very like pastel focused color scheme today, so I don't really wanna stray from that for the whole house, but I'm gonna try and bring my kitchen out this way with an island. I don't wanna cover that window there with counters, so maybe I can just bring some over here here. Even some of these round pieces here might look good. I'm also just like pushing them back with alt on my keyboard so that we don't get that like top part of the counter. We're gonna get all the essential stuff like my sink, my oven, stools here. And okay, now that we've got all that stuff, I need to start to add the like herbalism things. And honestly, I don't really need to add much because we already have the stove, which is where you actually like do the skill. But what we could do is add a whole bunch of the herbs here and also a bunch of the recipes that have been like already made. There are actually some really cool things in here. Like we've got the elixir of fertility and the energizer infusion. So I'm going to put a bunch of these in the house. So here are all of the items in debug from outdoor retreat. These are all of the things that you can make with herbalism. I'm just going to fill up this shelf over here. It's going to be like our own little medicine cabinet, insect repellent, soothing skin balm, deodorizing cream. We got it all. Maybe I should organize this. I'm literally just putting them everywhere, making it look like my own cabinet. Hold on. Okay. So I've added every single one of the herbalism things we can make. But I also want to start putting some of these herbs here. Like we've got all the berries. I want to find a way that I can put these without just like putting them here though. I'll probably put some up here, but I wonder if I should put some of these in like a basket or something. I know Jungle Adventure has these little like baskets here and I could fill those up with the herbs. Like we've gone flower picking or something. So I'm literally just going to be placing these in the basket. I feel like your sim should probably be able to pick these out of here still. We'll put some of them on the counter. Like it's a little bit messy out here. We also have some other herbs from other packs here, like this one from Realm of Magic. I'm adding a small breakfast table here just because I have the room for it. And then over on this side, Cottage Living actually has some like herbalism looking things. Like we've got this table with some hanging stuff. I think I might put that in like one of the corners along with maybe like this shelf. The hutch here could be cute too. There's even some herbs here from Journey to Batu we can put. I still have room in the middle here so I can add the dining table that I wanted. This one can be more of a formal one. I can even put like some high chairs just in case we have toddlers here. Okay, so this is what our herbalism kitchen ended up looking like. This is by far my favorite room in the entire house, including the exterior. We've got traces of the herbs everywhere, little jars of things that we've created over our herbalism skill. Over here, we have our big shelf of medicine, basically, and this part here, which is so cute with the baskets. To this side, we've got some more like gardening slash herbalism things, lots of hanging plants and just plants in general. We've got a dining area over here with a high chair just in case. And I forgot we had a pantry over here too. So instead of adding like regular things to my pantry, I just added even more plants with some more jars, some herbs, and maybe we can 
can say in some of these plants, we're actually growing our own herbs, even though we're not. So for the bottom floor, we still have a bathroom over here and a bedroom. So let's figure out what we're gonna do for our next bathroom. Okay, so spinning for the next bathroom and we're gonna get mischief. <laughs> okay, so Sims can get their mischief skill up by playing with the voodoo doll, performing certain social interactions, as well as pranking other Sims. So I feel like we could do a pretty general bathroom in here, but we have to have the voodoo doll in it. <laughs> the bathrooms are just straight up weird in this house and we're gonna have to just accept it. I do wanna make sure that we have a shower and a bathtub in this one though, because we didn't get one in the other one. So we're gonna do a bathroom right there and maybe we perform all of our voodoo stuff from the bathtub. So I'm gonna get the voodoo doll. We're gonna put it right there. That's <laughs> so weird. I've also been including some of the books and stuff for these skills. So I'm just gonna put one there. You could read that in the tub and the rest can just be regular bathroom stuff. We'll get some of the clutter in here. Our toilet can go right there. We'll do our sink right there. And apparently getting your Sims to become playful can help with like mischief interactions. So I'm gonna add some playful juice along with the playful lamp. That'll give off like a playful aura for your Sims. And the final thing I'm gonna put in here is a potty just to make sure in case we do have toddlers in here. Then we've got a little potty for them too. We can put it right beside the big one. So our mischief bathroom is complete. We've got our voodoo doll and our book. Some things in here that'll help your Sims get their mischief skill up. And let's start to do some of these bedrooms. We're gonna be doing this one down here. So back to the wheel here and we are going to be doing for the bedroom wellness. This kind of makes sense too. The wellness skill comes with the Sims 4 spa day. Sims can achieve the wellness skill through meditation, yoga, and massage. As they level up, they unlock new yoga poses, massage types, and meditation techniques. I think I'm gonna turn this into a teen room down here. So this is gonna be a teen wellness room. I don't know why I always get my teen rooms to be so far away from like the rest of the family bedrooms. We can chalk that one up to trauma. Ooh. I think I wanna keep going with the really light wallpaper down here just to pull it all together. So I'm gonna do like a light blue, maybe with an accent wall there. I haven't really decided. We could do like a science themed teen room. Maybe this is the teen that is like slowly transforming this bathroom into like a robotics room. We're just like halfway there. <laughs> so we'll do like a science-y theme, but also we're gonna be doing the yoga stuff in here. We could also add in some like meditation stuff, which I actually love adding these. They look like just cute little pillows you can sit on, but you can meditate on them. We could add some hanging plants over here, combining in the knitting stuff. This sim either made them or someone made them for them. Ooh, with the lighting coming in there, that looks really pretty actually. I'm putting some of these up above my bed. Up there, we can maybe put some of the robot decor I was talking about, but I don't want it to look too kid-like. So I'm just gonna put a couple things. I can put like a speaker up there. Ooh, this tapestry could be cute right there. And I have room for like the tiniest little end tables ever right there next to the bed. This is very cute so far. I also like to give my teen sims a desk. So I think on this side, I'm gonna do that for them. We'll get like the computer there. We could do a big dresser over here in the corner. Since we're into wellness, maybe I could add like those rocks there from Spa Day. Along with this incense thing, just keeping it zen. We can put the basketball thing in here. Maybe we're also into fitness a little bit. I'm gonna hang up some bags just for clutter. And this is what our wellness teen room ended up looking like. I dimmed the lighting a lot just because we had a lot of natural lighting coming in and I wanted it to be more relaxing. I added some bamboo plants in here just again for the vibe. Our yoga mat is really like the main skill focus here, but of course we've got our like meditation poofs too. And the bed area over there, super cute. We got a speaker up there, some remnants of robotics happening too. But yeah, there we go. That is our wellness teen room all complete. For the upstairs, just kind of for the sake of like moving this video along here, I did the hallway basically just with laundry stuff. I had this like awkward bump out area back here and I was like, that's perfect for my laundry machines. So we've got a whole bunch of like blanket clutter in here, some like laundry clutter. And I also used this area to make sure we had enough stuff to do for the kids. So we've got more toys. We've got some like bookshelves going along the hallway, another little seating area over here just with some more toys. And of course we've got that like rock climbing wall right there. So with that, we are gonna move. I think we should probably do maybe one of the bedrooms here. So spinning for the first bedroom upstairs, we get the potty skill. Oh no. We made the robotics bathroom work. We're gonna have to make a potty bedroom work. <laughs> the potty skill is obviously a skill that toddlers can achieve while using the potty. They can improve their potty skills by having an adult train them on how to use it. This is gonna be a potty bedroom. <laughs> Basically gonna be like a bedroom, but with a potty in it. Okay, let's get the flooring in here. I'm gonna use that one. I'm keeping with the theme of the pastels. How the heck are we gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna do a potty right there. That takes care of the skill. I'm gonna put a sink next to it for hygiene. Then we're gonna find something to divide the room. Just like a half wall, I guess. And then over here is where we're gonna put the toddler bed. <laughs> I am so sorry. This would only be the kind 
kind of thing you would see in like a hundred baby challenge or something. Like if for some reason you really needed your toddler to have a potty in their room. I don't have kids, you know, like maybe in desperate times you would have to bring that in there. I really don't know, but that's what we're gonna go off of. Our poor toddler can't make it sometimes, so now we have a potty over there. This poor toddler, I feel really bad, so I'm gonna give him a bunch of like teddy bears. Like some of the ones from outside, like the nifty knitting ones. I'm gonna add some fairy lights, pretend like everything is fine on this side. And then I think I'm gonna run away because this is just weird. Okay, so there it is, the toddler potty bedroom. Such a weird concept, same as the one downstairs. We got some really questionable bathrooms in this house, but we're still following the challenge. We're still following the rules. Now we can move on hopefully to another more normal bedroom. So back to the wheel, let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do for the next bedroom. We get skiing, okay. Sims can level up the skiing skill in the mountains of Mount Kemerebi, which comes with the Sims 4 snowy escape. As they level up, they unlock new tricks, skis, social interactions, and more. Okay, so we're doing a ski themed kid bedroom here. This is another one where you would need to be using like snowy escape to get the actual skill. But there are a lot of like ski themed things we could put in here. Oh, we could do like a little bed with this guy on it. There actually is a skiing bed. So I feel like I should use that one. I'm gonna put a desk over here in this corner. Maybe just as like a homework desk for now. And we do have the skis for kids. So I'm definitely gonna have to put these in here somewhere. I could put them up on like a big shelf like that. We'll just kind of like raise these up. Sometimes they're a little glitchy though. So I am worried about that. Yeah, like why? Why did it just like place like that? Oh, there we go. That might be the best we're gonna get. Oh, and there's cats on there. Cute. Because it's still a kid's room, we could bring in one of the cat toys. I have this one outside. So we'll just change the color on it. This actually makes sense too. This is a very active family. We've got the wellness team downstairs. Someone's rock climbing and we've got a ski kid. <laughs> Maybe this house belongs in Mount Kemerebi because that's where you can do like some of those skills. I'm just adding a couple more toys in here just to give our kid something to do when he's not skiing. And there we go. We've got our ski inspired kids room. They're not really going to be able to build their skill in here. We do have the skis though. They're probably going to have to go somewhere else for that. But it actually does make sense with the rest of the house and I'm kind of happy about that. But let's go and spin for the parent bedroom. Okay, spinning for the parent bedroom and we get media production. Interesting. The media production skill comes with the Sims 4 Get Famous. Sims can level up this skill by using the Mix Master Music Station, the More Views Video Station, or either streaming drones. This is gonna be so random. Okay, I'm gonna get the bed. I'm gonna get the basics first. I'm making the room green so it matches the herbalism skill downstairs. And we can either put this in here, either of these things, like these drones, which I'm kind of leaning towards that, or the video station, which is huge and kind of random. I think I'm gonna keep the drones. Maybe they like record their adventures or something and post that. So I'm gonna get one of these big dressers here and I'm gonna put these in between the little shelves in there. That way it at least looks like there's like a place for it. It's in a proper spot. And assuming this is the herbalist from downstairs, I'm gonna try and put a lot of plants in here. We'll bring back the plant curtains. And I always love finding ways to use these plants here from Eco Lifestyle. I'm gonna try and like put them behind here as my headboard. I'm just gonna bring that out so we're not seeing any plants come through. And I think it looks kind of cute. These bedrooms are gonna end up looking so nice. And then the poor toddler has the potty bedroom. I can't get over that. Our luck was so good until then, kind of. Okay, this is our extra planty bedroom with our media production skill front and center right in that dresser there. I really think this family probably just brings those on their adventures. They can record their kids skiing. You can make content about literally anything nowadays. So I'm literally sitting here doing it right now. So there we go. Media production, planty parent bedroom. Two more rooms to go. We've got a bedroom and we have a bathroom. Okay, spinning for the final bathroom and we're gonna be doing charisma. This is perfect. That's so easy. The charisma skill is a base game skill which can be leveled up by using the mirror or engaging in conversations with other sims. All we have to do in here is add a mirror. So I'm just gonna put one right there. We're gonna put a sink under it and a toilet and a shower. This is gonna be like the only normal bathroom we have in the house. So there's our final bathroom there. All you have to do is stand right in front of the mirror and you're gonna get that charisma skill up as long as you're practicing a speech. We've got our shower, our toilet. I added like a little bit of clutter, nothing too exciting. It's just a final bathroom. And for the final room over here, let's spin for the final time and we are gonna get the piano skill, okay. The piano skill is also a Sims 4 base game skill, which can obviously be leveled up by practicing on the piano. So a lot of the pianos we have in the Sims 4 right now are really big. They take up a lot of room. So the piano is gonna take up like majority of this bedroom. I don't know if this is gonna be a kid's room. They do have the balcony out here, which if we're going for music, maybe I can just make the balcony have a microphone. And like, there we go. Maybe this could be either a kid's 
men's room or a teen's room, honestly. We'll just make it look kind of boho a little bit. We're gonna have like the planty piano over there. Maybe a cute dresser right here. A jungle adventure mirror right beside that. This family is clearly all about like having their children embrace their dreams. Hence why we have a piano in there. Don't ask me how it got in there. I'm putting mirrors on both sides because maybe they like to like reform in front of them. They're practicing to be on stage. So they wanted a whole bunch of mirrors in here. <laughs> maybe we'll just do the one wall. This is such a random room in here, but we've got the piano. We've got everything we need for the skill. There's no denying your Sims are not gonna be short on things to do in this house. There's literally something to do in every room. And I like the color scheme here. I like how it's very soft, a little bit pastel. Definitely a massive family home in The Sims 4. This is a really fun challenge to do. If you guys wanna see me do any more videos like this, make sure you leave a comment, like the video and subscribe. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.